What's going on guys, Lithic and Zombies here, back with another Pokemon Go video, and in today's video guys, we are talking about the first Safari Zone event of 2024. Now, do remember, I did make a video where I did briefly talk about three locations that did get leaked to have a City Safari Zone in the year of 2024, so this is an infographic that I found that Pogo Central made on Twitter, and yes, these are the three locations, we have Sao Paulo, Brazil, we have Tainan, Taiwan, and Brisbane, Australia. So the one that did get announced on Pokemon Go's website is Tainan, Taiwan. That city safari zone did get fully announced on their website. So let's talk about when it's taking place and the featured spawns for the event. So this event will be taking place, guys, on March 9th and March 10th of 2024. So that will be a Saturday and a Sunday. Now, the ticket price is right here. If you convert this to US dollars, it is about nine bucks. So, pretty much the average price for these city safari zones, anywhere from nine to 12 US dollars. So, yeah, about nine bucks for the ticket price. So, again, not too bad. And yes, the Eevee, the costume Eevee, is still getting featured in this event. So, if you guys do play this event, do remember this Eevee is pretty rare because you don't get spawns of this Eevee, all you get is research checks for the Eevee. So you can only get the shiny via research. Now, how many checks do you get for Eevee? Well, if you just play one day of the event, you will get one check in special research and eight more checks in the time research. Now, if you buy the second day add-on, you can receive eight more encounters in the time research again. So in total, you're looking at 17 checks on the Eevee for that entire weekend. And that's how it's been working for every city safari zone that we've had so far. We do have a city safari zone for Mexico City this weekend, and that same thing is happening. 17 checks for the Eevee in total if you do play both days of the event. So yeah, this is a pretty rare shiny costume Eevee, and I reckon it's not gonna get released outside of the city safari zone. Now, speaking of releases outside of the city safari zone, yes, Skiddo, is still featured in this city safari zone so I don't see this dropping globally for quite a while uh, because they want you to play these events to of course go after the skiddo so I don't know when a global drop of skiddo is going to be happening it may not be for a while so hopefully you guys can play some of these city safari zones now let's talk about the entire spawn list for the event it's pretty decent nothing too crazy in here there are are a few good spawns uh, that I like so let's talk about it we got Zubat, Venonat, Meowth Kanto form, Farfetch'd, Execute, Alolan Executor, Chinchou Natsu, for the three unknowns we have A, I, and T, I feel like these three are not that rare of unknowns compared to some other events where Mexico is getting letter X, uh, we've had the letter C get, uh, feature before for Barcelona, so these three are not too rare I don't believe, uh, Trico, Spoink, Drifloon, Finneon, Darumaka, Dwebble, Litwick, Bufalant, no shiny of course, unless they drop it sometime before March, but I kind of doubt it, uh, Dino, and of course the Skiddo, and Morlul will be featured. That shiny is dropping in November, so if you guys don't get the shiny from the Festival of Lights event, you probably can't get that shiny a few times from this City Safari Zone, so that one, in my opinion, is one of the best spawns featured for the Safari Zone. So yeah, besides the Morlul and the Skiddo, other spawns I do like a lot from this event are the Gen 5 Dairumaka, uh, the Zubat, and the Farfetch'd. Uh, Venonat is okay too, and the other spawns are kind of eh. Not the greatest, but some decent choices in this lineup. Now, there will be featured 7Ks that do feature Execute, Bufalant, Dino, and Skiddo. Uh, you guys can buy an add-on, the Egg Enthusiast add-on, to get half hatch distance on those 7Ks. There will be field research for the event, so some field research task encounters of Skiddo are going to be featured, maybe even for more Lul too. Just have to wait and find out. Uh, these are all of the bonuses featured for the Sydney Safari Zone. Nothing has changed. Again, boosted shiny rate, up to five special trades. Trades require 50% less Stardust. 
Lures will last for four hours and your buddy may find an exclusive Tiny Compass souvenir. So yeah, guys, that does pretty much summarize the first City Safari Zone in the year of 2024, again, happening on March 9th and March 10th. So yeah, the other Safari Zones, there should be another City Safari for Sao Paulo in 2024 and for Brisbane in 2024 as well. So make sure you guys do look out for those if you guys are interested in doing those City Safaris in those locations. So yeah, guys, comment below your thoughts about this City Safari zone let me know what you guys think drop a like if you guys enjoyed today's video subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one